Then say during the last PACE conference, the People's Association of the Universities on uh, their particular emphasis on science and various other symposiums. Uh, the thing is, uh, well, I think um, uh, that head is correct. What we need is a vigilant audience, it's not just students. The students are, are at least in what Ratio is saying is true. I mean, almost every class, uh, there's a great deal of uh, critical awareness of what's happening in the media. But uh, what we lack is a vigilant readership, a vigilant uh, viewership. And that's where uh, developing a media literature <laughs> comes in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. journalists are are, are hurt to express fear of stepping beyond that, uh, that line supposed of objectivity, which is of course a myth, that they, they, they could be, uh, they could be, uh, they could be practicing uh, uh, unethical reporting, mm -hmm. right, like, in fact, we, we who have joined the class suit, are accused of over-bocacy. I mean, even if you are advocating uh, natural process, which truth, no profession, truth, freedom, and justice, you know, about, 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 about any, any person or any freedom-loving person in your demand of bocacy. But the media, media people themselves say, in case you have a Hindi <laughs> cynical of, of the media. Na parang, ano na yan, na, ay, hopeless na yata yung media. Napakalaking organization yan. And we're, we're just students. Parang meron ganun um, apprehension mo na that there is a danger na magkaroon ng disconnect talaga. No, we don't care about the media. Your problems are yours to solve. Kasi you yourself could not solve it. So kami, as, as, um, as citizens, as students, parang, what can we do? Nandun yung fear na merong helplessness also that, that they feel towards uh, being able to, to change the media. Kasi parang ano eh, yung matagal ng issue yun eh, yung airtime, yung pera, yung resources, it doesn't change. Baka kailangan ng isang advocacy or lobby group. And the only way you can reach people without using the media is through the classroom. But uh, I, I must agree with I sense that many of our graduates aren't going. <laughs> they're going somewhere else. They're going into politics, civil society, they're going into. They're not going because they say it's a dead end, it's full of corruption. Yeah. And the media could only have brought it upon themselves. Otherwise, Obama would be blaming. We have brought it upon ourselves. Uh, on that note, <laughs> uh, um, I'm Vincent from Transparency and Accountability Network. And as a non-practitioner, when you see the way elections are covered or, or politi politicians are covered, it seems that we are being played by them. They're the magician waving their hands here and everybody's attention's here when what you want to ask them is what's going on down here. And I think maybe it's time that we start thinking about how we stop being played by the politicians and start playing them. Because if you look at the headlines, if you look at what, what makes the evening news, it's whatever they want you to report. It's their spin doctors, it's their PR people who are working the machines in their favor. And we just become a party to that. And so maybe, I mean, again, as, as an observer and as a non-practitioner, um, maybe it's time that we thought about how we can play them and how we use the power of media, how we should use the power of civil society to control the agenda. Because 
for too long they control the agenda. They are making us believe that it is a Gloria FPJ slash Estrada fight when it is not about that. Because both sides, in, in my personal opinion, are equally discredited. So it's not, in my mind, it's not about Estrada versus GMA or FPJ versus GMA this year. It's certainly not about that, but they're making it out that way and, and we feed into that. Yeah, I, I agree, you know, but the framing of the of the coverage itself, but administration versus opposition, and that's what I do not And but you were talking about context and, and reporting and assessing candidates. I think the problem, one one problem on the media is because of the deadlines and yeah, very very short cycles to work on on stories. Well, um, nakakalimutan yung history, like the track record of politicians. What did they say uh, in 2004 and what did, how did they perform afterwards? And what are they saying now uh, that the promises you know, that were not that were not fulfilled? So baka there should be less coverage of the sorties in fact. And you know, I mean, what, what you saw in 2004, ang daming, ang daming video of um, on the campaign trail, but that really doesn't spell voters anything. So it's really more yeah, as, as we said, context. But uh how do we contextualize reporting? What are the what are the ways of, of making the voters more informed? And John, let's let's coverage really up. If for example if for example we look at the coverage of the US and, and every single word uttered by Hillary Clinton is picked apart examined and then made, and she's made to account for those words as, as is uh, as is Obama anything he ever said is taken apart you know criticized analyzed and thrown back at him but we don't see that in, in the local media what 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 a, what a politician said two months ago is out the window and that's why they're so comfortable in jumping ship and just you know crossing lines all the time because nobody ever holds them accountable for what they did in 04, whether they supported GMA, whether they didn't support GMA, there's no accountability in me of these people. Will the president tells us, I don't want to answer a political question. We can quiet. We yeah. said to asking people, why doesn't this president not want to answer a political question? Yeah. And the story, it is not the president's story. She doesn't want to answer. She doesn't want to open her mouth, her mouth in this case. Find other people. And let's ask them. Why do you think this president doesn't want to answer this question? I think we have to review the basic definitions. Like, sometimes we tend to think that objectivity is limited to uh, getting both sides. But if your first accusation was a lie in the first place, do you need to get the other side? Hindi ba pwede kalimutan na lang yun? I mean, scrap the story altogether? But sometimes it's like that. So, and you think you're being objective if 